So here's the Huawei iDOS X5. It's uh, released uh, this month, in January 2011. Uh, where are you releasing this? Well, first quarter for AT&T, hopefully. Yes. First quarter, but it says January. What does that mean? Well, January basically means uh, we are getting certified by the FCC in the U.S. Okay. Right. How about Europe? Europe, not yet. This is not targeted for Europe yet, but okay. there will be some of the phones targeted for Europe. But it works in Europe. It's the AT&T system. Uh, well, if it's unlocked, yeah, it's a yeah. quad band, so we can actually roam it into the European countries or European carriers with their own SIM cards. And is this a good screen? Absolutely. This is actually a uh, 3.8 capacitive touchscreen. Yeah. It's really highly sensitive with Android 2.2 in there. Can you update and would you want? Do you want to update? Uh, probably not for 3.2.3. Not scheduled for now. No. Yeah, not scheduled. Yeah. Maybe it will. Maybe not. It, maybe it will. Depends yeah. on the carrier requirements. Okay, so the carrier kind of have requirements and you have to provide for that, right? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, do you know this kind of phone can be bought unlocked? Uh, if, it is, if it is tailored for at and no. no. But we do have some tablets on the other side yeah. of the panel, they are actually unlocked. And you can actually go for yeah. either at and or HSTPA. But in Europe, for example, uh, is it kind of uh, possible that sometimes the device is unlocked in Europe? That could be possible. It does happen. Right. So you cannot say price because it's only carriers selling it? Exactly, exactly. But it's uh, an affordable de uh, device, no? Yeah, it should be uh, very competitive compared with the other uh, uh, carrier services. Right. So a carrier would want to distribute that because they can get it for cheaper, no? Exactly, exactly. I think this is a major selling point for devices coming from Huawei. Do you think this device would be on prepaid? Uh, this is, will be a post-pay device. Uh, like a contract, two-year yeah, contract. contract right. No prepaid for that, do you think? Uh, probably not for now. Yeah? So what does it say here? MSM 7230, what is that? This is basically the model of the program ship set that we actually utilize inside this phone. Is it the newest one? Uh, well, not the newest one. They always have 8000 and 9000 series, yeah? you know. Uh, but this is actually a good book of chip set for Android 2.2. One gigahertz? One gigahertz. All right. Uh, that's cool. IDOS uh, is a pretty nice capacitive screen, mm -hmm. good long battery life. Exactly. There's a Google logo in the back. There you go. So you speak with Google. Exactly. Well, this is not so much of a Google experience phone, it's more like a Google phone. We don't have all the uh, Google apps preloaded, pre okay. but we try our best to you know, uh, load it up the Google apps as much as possible. But people can install them in the marketplace oh, yeah, then? Absolutely, there is a Google market available here. You can, up, you can download whatever you want. Uh, this is uh, up to 7.2 megabit, megabit per second, so it's normal Dan HSDPA. DPA. Dan right. That's kind of like the normal HSDPA, no? Yeah, pretty much. Can you use this as a, as a MiFi? Uh, as a Wi-Fi hotspot? It depends on carrier, because Android 2.2 does provide a okay. MiFi functionality, right? But your hardware could? Yes. Alright.